All right, so let's start with the big story that we are tracking in Vion at this hour. The Afghanistan and Pakistan are at loggerheads at this moment. Islamabad wants to deport all illegal Afghan refugees from its territory by January 2024. And Pakistan has said that so far, nearly about 400,000 Afghans have already left from Pakistan. But there is one man in Kabul for whom Islamabad has always been bending backwards to accommodate. And the man in question is Sirajuddin Haqqani. The interior minister in the Taliban government, a designated global terrorist, the United States had of course put a reward of 10 million American dollars for any information leading directly to his arrest. And for a long time, this partly covered face was the only picture of him that was available. Now, time and again, showing only one side of his face, Sirajuddin Haqqani had remained a very elusive figure, influential and reserved. He had stayed away from public appearances, at times only his blurred images had been available, made available to the media. And even after the Taliban took charge in Afghanistan and named Sirajuddin Haqqani as one of its top ministers, he's been shrouded in a veil of secrecy. Now remember, Sirajuddin Haqqani is the head of the dreaded Haqqani network. And it was only in the month of March last year that Haqqani had been photographed at a graduation ceremony of police officers in Kabul. In all this while, Sirajuddin Haqqani had been using and this is where it gets interesting. He's an Afghan national, but he'd been using a passport that was issued to him by Pakistan. The Sirajuddin Haqqani had been issued a Pakistani passport for a period of five years, and he'd used this for his foreign travels. His passports were issued from the Pakistani offices in Balochistan, Sindh, and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Subsequent inquiries have confirmed that Haqqani had a passport that was issued to him from Peshawar during the tenure of Imran Khan-led PTI government. Remember, the Imran Khan government had opened its arms to the new rulers of Afghanistan after the hasty departure of the Americans. Now, Haqqani used the Pakistani passport to travel abroad, particularly to Qatar, for negotiating with the Americans, for signing the Doha Agreement. And it is this Doha Agreement that paved the way for the pullout of the American forces from Afghanistan, and now after the Pakistani journalist had raised this issue, it is being reported that Islamabad has now hastily cancelled the Taliban minister's passport. But the question, of course, is about the duplicity of Pakistan on this issue remains, given that at a point of time, Pakistan had favoured this man that the United States had accused of masterminding many terror attacks with its own passport. All right, now to give us more perspective on this, we're being joined by Mr. Bill Roger, who's a senior fellow at the FDD, the editor of FDT's Long War Journal and a terrorism analyst. He's joining us live from Medford in New Jersey. Now, Mr. Roger, this is an interesting report that has now emerged that Sirajuddin Haqqani, you know, one of the key individuals within the Taliban outfit, apparently was carrying a Pakistani passport when he was negotiating with the Americans in Doha. What do you make of this? Yes, it is. It was. If this is true, this is completely unsurprising. Sarajuddin Haqqani is a key functionary of the Pakistani state, and not only is he, by the way, the interior minister for the Taliban's government, the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan, but he's also one of two deputy emirs. So he is in line for succession to lead the Taliban if Mullah Habibullah Akhundzada take passes away or dies of unnatural causes. Mm -hmm. So, it, it, but he's also been a key proxy for the Pakistani deep state. It's the Haqqani family is known to run a madrasa in, in North Waziristan. It based its operations there during its insurgency against the Afghan government. Uh, he is a darling of Pakistan's inter-services intelligence directorate. Uh, you know, he, he's been a kingmaker for the Taliban, resolving disputes. And why why is Siraj Khani so important to the to the Pakistani state? Is because he gives them what the Pakistani state wants in Afghanistan, which is that strategic depth. Pakistan 
abhors the idea of India and other countries, but particularly India, gaining influence in right. Afghanistan. And so Sirajuddin Haqqani, by his, his influence with the Taliban, he was a key driver in defeating the Afghan government, getting the U.S. out of Afghanistan and getting that um, that what Pakistan wanted, which is a Taliban controlled government. And they, the Pakistanis were successful with this. All right. Now, now the question that will obviously be asked, Mr. Rojo, is how could this happen? Because this man was negotiating with the Americans in Qatar. He was apparently carrying a Pakistani passport. Do you think the Americans would have been aware of this or is, is this something that would have missed the Americans? If the Americans certainly would be aware of it just by his presence in Qatar would indicate that he had a passport to travel there. So and I'm sure the Americans would have the ability to have that information pulled from Qatari customs. So they would they would have known they would have seen where this passport came. And it's the only logical place or the only logical country that would issue him a passport would be the um, the Pakistanis. It's possible the Chinese or the Russians could have issued him a passport, but I seriously doubt that would have happened. There's just no other country that would have done this, um, given his relationship with the Pakistanis. Again, this is not surprising to me whatsoever. There's someone who's followed, you know, how these terrorist networks, in fact, operate. You know, the question that a lot of people would, of course, want to know is, you know, this individual, Sirajuddin Haqqani, whose picture was not even present, e even with the Americans, there was this picture of him looking sideways that that was, of course, you know, put out everywhere at a time when the Americans were looking out for him. There was a bounty of $10 million on his head. You know, why does he need a Pakistani passport to, to travel? Because the Americans were anyway negotiating with the Taliban. Why do you think he did not have an Afghan passport? Well, the Afghan government would have had to have issued him a passport. And they certainly weren't going to do that. Sergei Haqqani was one of the most wanted men in Afghanistan, by not just by the U.S., but the Afghan government, the Afghan military and security services. Um, he was responsible, as you noted, for some of the most heinous attacks. So there's just no reason for them to give him a passport. And also keep in mind, the Afghan government wasn't part of those talks. So the last thing they would want to have done was issue passports to Taliban officials to um, grant them the ability to conduct talks with the U.S. when the Afghan government was being locked out of these talks. Right. All right. Very interesting. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Bill Roger, for joining us and getting us that perspective there. You're welcome. Thank you.